Loved ones are demanding justice for 11-year-old Adirian Murray. Murray was allegedly shot in the chest by a Mississippi police officer last week. His mother says he called for help reporting a domestic disturbance at their home to try to protect her when he became the victim himself. He was released from the hospital Wednesday after being placed on a ventilator and having a chest tube. For more on this, I would like to bring in the family's attorney, Carlos Moore. Mr. Moore, thank you so much for joining us this evening. Thanks for having me. Mr. Moore, what did the family say happened leading up to the shooting of this 11-year-old? There was a domestic violence uh, situation. Uh, the father of Adarian's sister came by his mom's house about 4 a.m., knocked on the window. Uh, his mom allowed him in. Did he? Soon after, she became afraid uh, because he was irate, and she snuck to Adarian's room and asked him to call the police and to call her mother, which he did. And both his grandmother and the police came. And from there, the situation got out of control. The police tried to kick the door in. Uh, Kayla Murray answered the door. She's the mother of Adaria Murray. She answered the door. They told her to come out. Uh, they had a gun pointed in her face. So she went out the front door. She told them that there was no one in the house with the gun, that uh, her ex-boyfriend was running out the back door. So they knew there was no gun in the house. Uh, the officer yelled into the building and told everyone to come out with their hands up. Uh, Adarian heard the command and tried to obey the command. He left his room. And as soon as he hit the living room, he was shot by that same officer. Oh, okay. Now, you were hearing that the officer, uh, Greg Capers, has uh, been identified as the one who allegedly shot Adarian. Now, has he been suspended with pay from the uh, Indianola Police Department, or is he still on the job? He has been suspended with pay uh, as of Monday evening. Uh, however, we believe that's akin to a paid vacation that's unacceptable. This man has to be fired, and he has to be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. Carlos, what does the family want to see happen in this case? We want justice. Short and simple, this should have never happened. Uh, this young man will never be able to trust the police again. He started counseling on Friday, but how can you obey the police, do everything right, and still get shot? Not just anywhere, but in his chest. He came within an inch of losing his life. And so the family wants justice. We want a prosecution. We want termination. And there will be a civil suit filed this week on Tuesday uh, for a remuneration for, for the tremendous injuries he suffered. I've never worked in law enforcement. I can only imagine the stress around all of it in this. But I don't understand how this 11-year-old, uh, he looks like a little boy from the pictures that I'm seeing there. Um, I don't understand how this little boy was mistaken as a threat. In your opinion, do you think more police training is needed to prevent tragedies like this? I do. I really do. I believe that uh, there needs to be training how to de-escalate situations. I believe there needs to be uh, diversity training and training how to assess a threat. I mean, a an 11-year-old boy, four feet 10, with nothing in his hands, how could any trained officer, and this was a veteran officer, a sergeant, a supervisor, how could he misperceive and think that this was a threat? No way this was a threat. Ms. No Moore, I'm running out of time here. I've got 30 seconds, but can you tell us how Adarian is doing? Adarian is doing as reasonably uh, any 11-year-old would be doing after being shot in the chest. Uh, he's in good spirits uh, some days, but he's still in pain. He still can hardly breathe at times. He feels like he's suffocating. And, and he keeps asking, why did this happen? Why did he shoot me? What did I do wrong? He just does not understand and never will. Mr. Moore, thank you so much for joining us this evening. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.